Hi everybody, my name is uh, Bauke Grummerschei and I wanted to show you uh, what I did with my Raspberry Pi. Uh, I've got it here. Um, it's basically a stock Raspberry Pi in a uh, clear case as you can see. But I added uh, a breadboard with uh, a lot of uh, LEDs. Um, these are actually red green LEDs. Um, and of course um, they allow me to, to program them um, using those four shift re registers I've got here. The funny thing is that um, I also added uh, two knobs. Um, uh, it's a kind of a tumbler uh, knobs. I'll show you here. Um, they, look, they look quite nice, I think. Um, and it allows you to do, um, of course, custom stuff or whatever you want with your program. Um, so let me just plug it in and I'll show you what it does right now. So I've plugged in my Raspberry Pi. It's booting the OS, it's initializing the script and by shifting some LEDs it will show you that it's booted. So there we go. The program is running now and the program is checking my vCenter servers if they are up and running. It's not doing that by ping, it's act it is actually logging in and logging uh, out, so checking the VPXD services running. Once it's done, it will continue running against all those 16 vCenter servers to see if they are up and running. And of course you can, have, you can put in vCenter servers, but also ESX hosts. So uh, I can imagine that you don't have that amount of vCenter servers, but you can put in vCenter servers and also your ESX host. One of the first things you want to find out is the IP address. So you can change the program or perhaps change the, uh, the XML file. Um, that's why I've put two knobs on there. And one of the knobs allows you to select a program within the script. And program 2, which I will select right now, holds the IP address. And it's shifting through all the, the it's shifting through the IP address, lighting up the LEDs, and by showing the amount of LEDs, it will give you a number. All red dots, uh, all reds is a dot, so it's 192.168.2.154, and then it will continue running the program. I've also got the other programs in there. Um, program number 6 here is doing a reload of the script so it doesn't need to reboot completely it just reloads the script and by reloading the script it rereads the XML file um, perhaps you've changed it or something program number 7 will reboot the Raspberry Pi and program number 8 will shut down your Raspberry Pi so let me stop a vCenter or two to see what happens if they are stopped. And there we go. By showing a red LED, you know that the vCenter has crashed. And there are actually two. I've got a major breakdown in my vCenter server here. But that's fine, it's my lab environment, so I'll be uh, starting them back up again. And that allows you to reset it back to green. However, I do want to know if it happened during the night or something, so what I've put in is that it changes the color not to red, but uh, allowing you to sh show you both the green and the red LED, giving you an orange, orange LED. So I don't know if you can see it clearly on camera, but right now I've got an orange and a red and number 11 is also orange now. So now if I come in in mornings, I know that those vCenters had an issue during the night. I can start troubleshooting or something. And of course, after troubleshooting, I want to reset them back to green. So that's what the other knob is for. That's knob num number one, which allows you to reset them back to green. And there you go. This is my uh, micro monitoring unit, Yumu, and um, let me shut it down right now, take it back to my customer, plug it in there, 
doing a good shutdown of the OS. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and of course check out my blog. Uh, I'll be giving a full description on how I did this. It's relatively simple of course. I'll be sharing my script. And um, let me know what you think of it. Thank you.